Hey what's going on guys Tan by here and welcome back to another video tutorial and a javascript for beginners especially the jquery part so in the previous couple of videos we've started off with jquery and we've seen some basics of what is jquery and we've also seen in the previous video what are selectors and we saw the three different basic selectors that is the css selectors so let's continue on with that so if you have missed that video please check that video we are using the same code from the previous video in this video and we are going to elaborate more on some selectors so we'll see few more selectors in jquery and if you don't know what selectors are basically they are just inbuilt jquery functions used to select the elements that is the dom elements and then perform some action on it okay so that is the very basics of selectors so with that being said as you can see this is something that we did in the last program also so what we were doing is we gave the id of the first h2 tag as first h2 and when we click on the button on the on click we are calling this fn1 and this function is over here which we've written here we are using the id selector using the hash inside the dollar function so this is the syntax so this is basically selecting that element with the id of first h2 so the h2 element is going to be selected and then after that we want to perform some action on it and that action is a fade toggle method which will basically fade the text that is it will fade it out or if it is invisible it will fade it back in okay so this will happen on click because fn1 is called on click so let's click on it and you can see it is faded out so this was a quick recap of what we did in the previous video now in this video we'll see a few more different types of selectors so that you understand that there are so many more things that you can do in jquery so let's first add a few html elements so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to erase this out i'll keep the selectors h2 i'll add two more divisions so i'll name this my divs okay and i'll give this first division an id of first div okay similarly for the second one i'm going to give second div and for the third division i'm going to give third div so the class of all these three divisions is the same and inside that we have a paragraph so i'm going to write this is first paragraph in first division okay i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it inside the first division so i'm going to say this is second paragraph in first division so just follow along i'm adding some more html elements so that we can then manipulate them in different ways in the second division i'm going to say this is third para in second division and in the third division what i'm going to do is i'm going to add an unordered list so i'm going to say ul inside that i'm going to say li list item 1 okay 2 3 and 4 now what we'll do is let's just add a little bit of margin and little bit of border to these different divisions so each of these divisions have this class of my divs so in our css file by the way we have a separate css file which is inside the css folder so let me just show you the folder hierarchy that we've created in the previous video so we have a css folder inside which we have style.css we have a js folder inside which we have the jquery library so we are including both of them in our code so we are including css over here and we have jquery over here at the bottom so inside this style.css we already have given the first h2 a color but right now it's not there so let's just erase this i'm going to say dot my divs inside that i'm going to say border colon 2 pixel solid let's give it a color of blue so there you go you can see that we've got a color of border to all the three different divisions let's add some margin so i'm going to say margin 5 pixel so they are separated now and let's add some padding as well just to make it look better i'm going to say 10 pixel okay so these are the three divisions so now let's move on with the selector part now what if you want to perform fade toggle or perform some operation on multiple html elements okay so let's say you want to hide this division and this division both at the time but you don't want to hide this division so if you just use the element selector that is directly if you type div all the three of them are going to be fading out right so if i click on it you can see all of them got faded but what you want to do is we just want to fade the first two ones okay 
So the first two divisions are supposed to be faded out. So you cannot use the class selector also. You cannot say dot my divs because all of them have the same class. But you can see that each of them have unique IDs, right? So instead of giving one ID that is hash first div, I can add a comma and I can also add another ID over here. I can say hash second div. So in this case, what this selector is going to do is it, it is going to select multiple elements with these two different IDs and it is going to hide that is fade this one and this one. So if I click on this, you can see only the first two divisions got hidden. So this is something that you can do. And now what you can do is you can also add other things. So let's say if I want to add paragraphs to this, that is I want to hide all the paragraphs also. So let's say I want to hide the first division with the ID of first div. So entire this division will be hidden. So all the paragraphs inside this will also be hidden. And I also want to hide the paragraph inside the second division. Okay. That is this paragraph. So coming to the selector function, if I say first div comma P and if I click on this, you can see that the first division got completely hidden and the paragraph inside the second division got completely hidden because we did not pass the division ID of the second division. We only passed the paragraph, right? So all the paragraphs also got hidden. Let's say you want to hide all the list elements. That is the LI elements. So if I click on it, all the LI elements in the third division will also be hidden. So this is how you can pass multiple things over here. You can also pass classes. So if I say comma dot my divs, pretty much everything will be hidden over here because everything is inside my divs. So let's see, we have one more division which does not have this class. Okay. Nor does it have any ID. So only that division will be staying over here. If I click on this, everything is hidden because we also pass the LI. So let me just erase the LI. And now if I click on it, only the list items in the last division are visible because the last division did not get hidden. It was not accessed in this selector. Okay. So one more thing that we can do, one more variation that you can do is what if you want to hide paragraphs, which are directly inside a division. Okay. So let's say we have two paragraphs, which are not inside any division. Okay. So here, what you can see is there are first two paragraphs. So let me just rename it. So I'm going to see this is a paragraph outside division. Okay. So this paragraph is not enclosed inside any division, whereas these two paragraphs and this paragraph is inside a division, right? That is the parent element is division and the child is the paragraph. So what if you want to hide only that paragraphs, which are inside a division, even that can be done. And in that case, you have to pass the parent element that is div. You have to say greater than sign and you have to pass the child element. So in this case, this and this will be hidden and this and this will be hidden. So let's click on it. And there you go. You can see the division did not get hidden. Only the paragraph inside that division got hidden because you can see the borders of the division are still there, right? So this is how you do it. Now, even if you don't give the greater than sign, it works pretty much the same. If I just erase this greater than sign and if I see division space P and if I click on it, it will still work because that's how the CSS styling also works, right? So in the styles, if I say division space P, what it means that all the paragraphs which are inside division should have a color of red. So now if you see all the paragraphs which are only inside the division are getting the color of red and the paragraph which is outside does not have that color, right? Which means that the way we actually write the styles are the exact ways that we access it in the selectors. Okay. Okay. So what next? What all things can we do more? Now let's say you want to access the very first paragraph only. Okay. So typically on a website, you have multiple things. So you have multiple divisions, multiple heading tags, multiple paragraph and a lot of elements, right? So let's say you just want to hide the very first paragraph. So in that case, in the selector, what you do is you say P, you give a colon and you type in first. So this will hide only the first instance of a paragraph element. So if I click on it, you can see only the first element got hidden. That is the first paragraph. Now the same thing applies to classes also. So you can see we have three divisions with the same class of my div. That is my divs, my divs, my divs. What if you want to hide the first division, which has the class of my divs. So you can do that by using dot my divs over here. 
again colon and first it will hide the first division if i click on the button you can see the first division got faded out one more thing you can do is let's say you want to hide the even elements okay so what you can do is instead of this first you can just type in even now the even numbering starts from zero so this is the zero division with class of my divs this is the first division and this is the second so the zeroth and the second division should be hidden right so let's see if this works if i click on it you can see it got hidden if i click it back it will get visible again let's try this with list items so i'm going to say li all the list items which are even should be fade toggled or should be hidden or shown according to what they are currently okay so here you can see this is at zeroth position this is at first second and third so zeroth position and second position list item should be hidden again since we are targeting li all the li that is all the list items on the document whose ordering is even should be hidden so again this should apply to this list item and this list item also so if i click on the button you can see two list items got hidden which were at even position similarly you can go ahead with odd also so the list items or anything that is selected over here the odd instances will be hidden or whatever action you are performing so this is not just about hiding or showing something or animating so anything you can apply on to this selectors okay so right now we are just using the fade toggle function just for demonstration purpose but pretty much everything that methods do on these elements can be applied so when we see different methods when we move ahead in the series we'll understand how to go about that because we still have to cover events and methods right now we're just talking about selectors so seeing the odd thing in action you can see odd elements got hidden out okay so this was a few more jquery selectors and few more variations and flexible options that you can do in jquery now i still haven't covered a lot of those selectors because there are n number of selectors which are not highly used these are the most common ones but there are few more selectors to go ahead with so what i'll do is i'll drop some link in the video description you can check out those selectors and you can try them out in your website in your project in your code and let me know if you have any doubts but yeah that's about it for these selectors i hope you have got a very good idea about what selectors are and how they offer more flexibility compared to javascript because we can do multiple things we can select multiple things we have different conditions and so on and so forth so yeah i'm going to wrap it up over here thanks for watching in the next video we'll move on with some other jquery concept fundamental and try to cover more things on jquery if you like this video please give it a thumbs up do let me know in the comments how this video was and see you guys in the next video peace